Commuter alert tonight after hitting the pause button for the past eight months, Metro is finally pressing play for the yellow line. DC News Now's Joseph Omo covers transportation for us and has what you need to know. What you're looking at right now is something that hasn't happened since September of last year. A yellow line train making its way through the busy LaFont Metro station with passengers on board. Now during the eight month shutdown, crews worked to turn the aging and leaking yellow line tunnel, as you see here, into this, a renovated water sealed tunnel that'll last for decades. And now that an entire Metro line is back on the map, one rider tells us what he missed most. When I crossed the river, I was looking out at the Potomac and I thought, dang, it's been a long time since I've seen this view, all right? The river, oh my God, I can't believe it. So I could read, I could read my paper in peace. So here we are, we finally made it. The yellow line is open once again to passengers, but it won't look entirely the same as it did before. Let's take a look at the Metro map. You're normally used to the yellow line running from Greenbelt, Maryland, all the way down to Huntington in Virginia in Fairfax County, right? But now take a look at where it ends just over halfway through at Mount Vernon Square, the convention center in Washington, D.C. So if you want to go all the way up to Greenbelt in Prince George's County, your only option now is a Green Line Metro train. So here's the new yellow line schedule. Trains are going to be running every eight minutes during most parts of the day, Monday through Friday, and then every 12 minutes late night and weekends. Also, the timetable on the busy red line is getting better. Starting today, trains during the morning and evening weekday rush passing through the station every six minutes. Reporting at the LaFont Metro Station, I'm Joseph Olmo, DC News Now.